what you gonna do with all that junk, all that junk inside your trunk? I'ma get, 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 get you drunk, get you love drunk off my hump, 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 my lovely little lumps. Check it out. I dropped this. Okay, y'all. I dropped the ball. I dropped the ball. Like. Y'all, so my Thanksgiving vlog that I was supposed to do, it just, it did not go accordingly. I was not able to record. I was doing a lot of working. Um, Y'all seen it. Y'all seen it. I was doing a lot of working. I had clients. I had four clients in one day. I, I'm sorry, but this is how my braids came out. I got these done last Thursday. Today is Friday, December 1st. I got these done on, what do you call it? Thanksgiving day, Thursday morning. And y'all, um, this is not the best work I've gotten done. They already look old. And braiders, please stop putting foam mousse on your natural hair clients. We're natural. We can't, don't, stop putting that shit on there because you see everybody doing it because it makes our hair curl up and not look good the same day. And I don't know how I forgot to tell, to remind her, but that's common sense. Don't put foam on my hair, I'm natural. And she knows that. But anywho, so they don't look their best and I kind of feel plain about it. And then this is not the color I wanted, but, uh, but it's just, no, it, they're looking old already. They're long and you know, it's just, you know, when people are rushing and got other stuff going on, but when my money is involved, don't play with me. But yeah, uh, this is how the braids turn out. But anywho, on another note, I got another package, y'all. I'm so excited because I'm so ready to do this uh, clothing haul, clothing haul thing. Um, there's gonna be a little delay because some of the clothes I got I couldn't fit, so I had to exchange them out. So now I'm waiting for those to return to the boutiques and waiting on those to return to the boutiques and get the new stuff shipped. So that's gonna cause a delay in my fall clothing haul. Uh, I got a surprise for y'all, I can't tell y'all right now. But um, also, I got another package today, and these are my. Y'all, so I'll be so happy when I get a package. Like it just makes my soul smile. I just, and I know what it is. It's just like, okay, let me open it. So, make sure y'all can't see my address. So y'all. I'm so ready to do this photo haul. Like, I'm just, y'all ain't gonna lie. I was so disappointed about that stuff not fitting me. I really love it. Uh, okay, y'all. Cause the ones I wanted, they went out of stock in my size. And I was so sad about that. Like, I was so hurt. Cause I should have got them when I was like on there. But I was like, I'm gonna get them in the morning. They're not gonna be gone. Y'all, they was gone that morning. But these are the Uggs. So I had to settle with these because they don't even look like the picture. Why the fur was a little bit more baby doll. Uh, what y'all on? No, I don't like this right here. This is flimsy. This is real flimsy right here. Uh, what the fuck? Let me try them on. Y'all, I hate them. I hate them. I hate how short they are on my foot. I thought they was gonna look a little bit better. I hate it. I hate how I have to struggle to get them in because of this. And y'all, so when I have my Uggs classic or regular ones, they don't have the bow in the back, I can get in them so easily. But I have another pair, they're pink, and they have a bow on them, and I have to struggle to get in those, and I have to struggle to get in these. I don't like, y'all, I just want my regular uh, classic looks. So 
so I'm probably gonna send these back and get the classic. So I'm gonna, probably gonna have to wait another week and a half, which is okay because I still gotta wait for. Uh, I still gotta wait for um, the other stuff to come in. So. Hey y'all. So I went out and. Shh. Hey y'all. So I went out and grabbed some things today. And I don't know why, but I've been digging the water lately in the jugs and just pouring it in my little container that I have or any container because I feel like I drink more water when I do that versus the water bottles. I don't know what it is and maybe it's just me about the water bottles, but I could have a water bottle and I'll be like prolonging the drinking process all day of that. I don't know. But when I drink, when I pour my water in these, I be guggling this thing down. So I make sh so it helps me drink a lot of water, my daily intake of water. So yeah, instead of buying the cases, I've been buying a lot of those jugs, and I've been going through them like crazy. So I know I'm getting my water. Uh, I brought some new containers. Yeah, I got a surprise. So um, yeah, I got a new friend. Come here, Pierre. <sighs> Meow, say hi. Say hi. Oh, y'all, he is so bad. He doesn't like anyone to hold him, but he loves to get on, on me. He's so obsessed with me. Like, I can't, I'm literally walking and tripping over him because he's on my legs. And when I'm trying to sleep, he just, he, stop it, Pierre. Stop, just stop. But that's my baby. That's my little baby. So we getting to know each other. Um, I got this to put under my cabinet because the situation I got going on right now under there is just blah. Can I talk? Can I talk? It's just blah. So I'm gonna organize that. I might put that in the vlog and put this down. Um, I got this little container for Pierre's belongings. And I'm gonna put this under my bathroom sink or wherever I put this. This is all his stuff. I'm gonna put that. Got some more disinfectant wipes, Johnny. I love these wipes. I love these. This is my second pack. I'm not done with my first pack, but I'm all way, I'm halfway through. I was like, let me go ahead and grab some more of these before they be sold out. I don't know. I got him a little pooper scooper and this little container is what I'm gonna keep the pooper scooper in. Because yeah. And then I need to get this off. This whatever this is, get this off. So but yeah, and I bought him a whole bunch of food that can last him for a little minute. And y'all, I don't know if y'all know this, but I'm like a person, I'm not gonna, I haven't been back diagnosed with OCD, but I wash my hands like a million times a day. I bought my floors a lot. I clean and sanitize stuff a lot. I believe in bleach. Bleach is my best friend, bleach or Clorox. And so now that I got him, he is a little nasty fur baby animal. So I be wiping his paws down. His, his, I be wiping his butt. Of course he don't like water. And when I first got him, y'all, why he told me up? Because I took him a, a shower. But he told me, you know, he bit me, he drew blood from me, he scratched me up, it was a mess, but he had to get the shower. Okay. Yeah, so, some disinfectant spray, these wipes, I don't know, I keep my bleach. And I've just been trying to maintain keeping my house clean and also having a pet. Okay, baby, it, it's, it's a little struggle. So yeah, I'm gonna keep a little pooper scooper in this. And this is for all his little knickknacks and whatnot. And then I got me some two pegs because I needed some more that I was running out. Disinfectant spray. And y'all, I went by Target today to get, y'all know, my tissue re up. So last time I recorded me getting this tissue, it lasted. And I'm on my last, I'm on my last roll right now. So I have to go re up before I go back. And I bought the baby some food and I'm gonna put all his stuff in here. So. And this is the one he ate on today already. 
And y'all, these do I think this is way cheaper at Target than it was at Kroger. Did I go by Kroger? I don't know. Kroger, I think this is where I went. And these are turkey and I think this one is chicken. Okay, so I got a little time on my hand. I'm gonna straighten up the cabinet under my kitchen sink. I'm gonna put this down. Because it's just a mess right now, so I'm gonna like put this down and straighten it up, get some organization going under there, you know. But yeah. And this is what we have going on under here. It's just stuff everywhere. So we're gonna get that taken care of. I'm gonna, I pulled all the dishes out of my fridge and all the dishes I have, I'm gonna wash this, these, some of them I'm gonna hand wash, some of them I'm gonna go in the dishwasher. So yeah. Okay, so it looks a whole lot better and organized and neater under here. Yes, got my sponges over here, towels, dish detergent, gloves, all of that. Yes, way, way better. Okay, y'all so um i haven't been recording all week and i know it's so so bad because i'm supposed to be doing a week in my life but i'm just getting off work i'm about to go into the kroger's where i work around the area where i work to get some food because i want to cook some pasta tonight it's pink friday too <laughs> I'm gonna go home, cook, jam to my music, my, my new Nikki, and um, sip some wine, you know? So I'm about, I'm about to go into the Kroger, get some a couple groceries for what I wanna cook tonight, I'm thinking pasta, and then um, I'm gonna head home. Okay, y'all, and I've really been like feeling the way because I have not, been just doing myself getting myself up or cute well, let me adjust my camera and it's dark so 
I have not been doing my stuff up. Like, since I had these braids, I have not been styling them. I've been looking a mess. I haven't been doing my eyebrows. And for me, like, that, that, that was always me. Always having my nails done. Always doing my getting my brows did i was having some lashes on or some makeup and i feel like i've changed dramatically is this my turn i'm supposed to turn right here i don't know if i'm gonna turn right here just because it might be my turn i don't think it's my turn okay whatever but back to what i was saying okay so like i was saying lately i have not been just having time to pamper myself or do anything for myself and i really want to shake that bag you know I, I need to feel good about myself like i've been really busy and i've been putting other things ahead of me and that can't just happen and i'm gonna get into it a little later as of why or what the situation is but not in this video but just wait for that tea okay just wait for that tea but with that being said like i just feel like i have not been on my p's and q's as far as my beauty okay oh i did go the right way because i remember past i remember passing this family dollar okay I don't got no GPS on, but anyways, and y'all, I'm not in the area I stay in. I am in a whole different area where I work. And so I wanted to go in their Kroger's and get some food, some salmon. Because last time I got salmon at the place, at the Kroger's by my house that I normally get, baby, that stuff was so rotten. And then when I took it home that night trying to cook, I'm like, what the heck? And so I had to take that back. But anyways, Yeah, I haven't been doing what I need to be doing to feel just beautiful on the outside because I'm beautiful on the inside and I am very, 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 very beautiful, pretty girl. But the aesthetics, I need to just get back to me because I mean, even if I don't, if I just go natural, I'm fine. But I know it's not what I'm me. It's not how I've been since I was young. So it just make me feel like it's a change and I'm kind of getting sad about it. Like, okay, I can't even, I don't even have time to do my makeup. I don't have time to do everything I want to do. Um, I haven't even styled these braids and no makeup, didn't know, took no pictures. I don't even have no pictures with these braids in. And they're like literally about to be to the point where you don't want to take pictures with your braids. Like, in the morning sometimes I don't even have time to do my baby hairs because I'd be just so tired I just like shower get up dress and get out the door and this is why I have a headband on today because no baby hairs but yeah okay I gotta prioritize to get my life together okay I haven't been vlogging for y'all like I said I was gonna vlog this week didn't I get, do a good job? I gotta stop playing. Like, it's not me playing. It's just like I'm super busy. Like, last night, I had a client. I had to do her hair. And I could have been recording a little bits and pieces of that, letting y'all know, like, what I'm doing. Because that was a week in my life. Like, I, I've really been doing stuff all week. It's just the camera. I haven't picked up the camera and I haven't scheduled around it. So, I need to plan out a content day as well. Because. I just feel like my life is all over the place. I don't like that. Like, I like having a little control of my life, you know. If I can't control the whole thing, let me have just a little say so in what, I'm, in what I got going on, you know. Anyways, let me stop venting. I'm on my way home. When I get home, I'll be sure to pull this camera out and record for you guys, okay. I know Pierre probably like, where the hell is she? Because she no normally gets home and feeds me around this time, but I'm out getting food. Yes, and I'm gonna cook for my baby. He's gonna get my food too. So I think I'm gonna do pasta, salmon pasta, but the gag is, uh, I don't think I can give him the pasta. I don't want him like his stomach aching. I'm just gonna give him the salmon and like some broccoli or something like that. Have him eat a, a real nice, gourmet meal you know he ain't like the other kitties okay <laughs> but yeah i'll see y'all when i get home okay i have made it home i'm fresh off work i'm about to clean my tub out i already sprayed it down or whatever 
and I'm about to clean it out and remove some bath water because I need me a hot bath, not a shower, but a hot bath. And then I'm gonna start cooking. Okay, y'all, so I am out the shower and ready to cook. So I got my stuff laid out, my pots laid out. Hopefully I got everything laid out. And I'm just about to start. I normally boil my noodles last and I have to be waiting on them. So I'm gonna boil the noodles first. Um, you know what? No, I'm gonna saute the fish first. Um, get that ready and then boil the noodles and then go from that. Let's be honest, but look what I got laid out. So I pretty much got everything I'm using laid out. Got my salmon. And I wanted to use these because I was tired of, uh, what is it, penne or peen pasta? I was tired of that. So I wanted the roly, rotini kind. And yeah, there we go. Oh, I gotta get a lemon, but yeah. Okay, so now I'm about to wash the fish off. Let me smell it, make sure it's Decent. Okay. And yeah, I hate the skin, so uh let me try to take this off. I hate the skin, y'all. my pasta noodles I cooked my uh, salmon fillet already y'all and why I'm thinking I had bell peppers at home good so I'm good I ain't getting none at the store y'all the bell pepper is molded it is molded like y'all see that gross it's molded I'm sad about that so I don't have any red bell pepper or green bell pepper i really don't feel like chopping up no i'm cracking open no garlic dicing it up so but it really just gives it that taste <sighs> i'm gonna think about it okay yeah i got my garlic and i think i don't know what i'm gonna do i don't know if i'm gonna just you know open it and just put it in there or am i gonna slice it up i don't feel like slicing it up and i don't feel like open i gotta just peel see this is just too much this is just too much you gotta do with trying to get some garlic but it's so good
Okay, y'all, so look how thick, rich, and creamy the sauce is. Yes. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I don't even think this video is doing justice. Okay, y'all, everything just looks so freaking good. Oh my gosh, I gotta pour me a glass of wine now, so hold on. Just look at it. Yeah, okay, so quick little story time. This wine is freaking nasty AF. It's not sweet. I found out I like sweet wine. So what I did was I added some agave to it every time I drank it and it'd be so bearable and so good. So if you like sweet wine, you can get this and just add some agave. If not, just don't even bother. But this by itself is just not appeasing to me. So I have to add a sweetener if you don't know what agave is, it's a sweetener, a natural sweetener, so, yeah. So I'm gonna pour that and then I'm gonna add, and this is the agave I use. This is the agave that I use, very good brand. Okay, y'all, so here it goes. I'm about to try it. And Pierre in there eating his food. He got everything I got. Oh my gosh, y'all. Mmm! Hold on. Baby, this salmon is tender, juicy, every, oh my. Gosh, hold on, hold on. Mm. Baby, one hundred out of ten. This is five. I'm about to eat and relax and I'll see y'all later. Good morning, good morning. Okay, so um, I'm about to get started early. I woke up at like eight something and then I just laid in the bed and that was like 9-11 because I contemplated to get up and all that. Um, Should have got up at eight when I first woke up. but. Uh, I'm about to sort my laundry, uh, my colors, my whites and all that. And um, I'm about to wash and then I'm about to go to Target to get some eye drops or something. Because I kind of like poke myself in the eye with my nails. And then my eyes been like irritated all yesterday because when I was putting on uh, my face stuff, I accidentally got some in my eye. And so, yeah, I didn't get to flush my eye out really good. So I'm just gonna go get some eye drops from Target. And then um, I kinda wanna do some content planning today. I wanna kinda start planning for 2024 because I think that's why I be behind sometimes is because I don't plan out or at least write out. And I know that like God laughs at our, at our plans sometimes, but I wanna at least have an idea of what I need to be doing next year. I don't wanna just go blindly and I want God to lead my way, but I wanna put down on paper what I what. I plan and what I want to have going on so God can be like, okay, yeah, check, let's do that. I, I can get, I can let you have that. I can let you, you know, work on that because that's part of my plan as well. But I just want to have some solid concrete going down so I just won't be, you know, just doing anything. Like I, I have a plan and I have a goal and I just want to get it down on paper so I can just start moving towards it because everything in my mind, baby, it's so much in my mind, I'll forget. So I just want to put it down, put it on a plan. And I really need to get like a planner. I got like a journal for like my just writing, but I need like a planner. I need a content planner and I just need like a life planner. Like this month, I need to save up. I want to go to Jamaica or Tulum or something like that. I just want to plan stuff out. Like that way I can check it off. So when that month comes, I'm like, oh, I did that. And then when, when you write that down and see that you check stuff off, that makes you feel so good. I don't know. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel like, I do what I say I'm gonna do it and I've always said that. And y'all, that was one of my quotes from college when I graduated college. One second, let me show y'all. 
this was like when I graduated, like this is one of my quotes. I don't know if y'all can see. But it says victory. Oh, okay. There is no greater victory than accomplishing exactly what you said you would. And that's my quote, baby. There is no greater victory than accomplishing exactly what you said you would, okay? Keeping your promises to yourself, keeping your promises, it just does something to your body. The energy just let me, lets you know, like, if I say it, I'm gonna do it because I did it before. So I don't say anything that I don't, that I don't plan on accomplishing and doing. So hey, if I put it out there, it's gonna happen. Thank you. As you can see, I have a lot of dirty clothes I need to wash that's been even filling over my little hamper thingy. But I'm about to sort those and then I'm about to wash and then I'm about to uh, shower and stuff and then head to Target. Okay, y'all so I'm back I just got a client that kind of like booked last minute for as well so my makeup brushes is not clean so I need to um, wash my makeup brushes real quick real fast prep and then I'm gonna go to Target hopefully I get to do that before she comes but yeah cuz it's like 10 20 right now. Okay, so I got pretty much everything I need laid out. She wants her hair curled. So I got that stuff laid out. And then, y'all, every brush that I think I'm going to use. These are not all my brushes. Fenty, Fenty, Morphe, Morphe. What is this? Urban Decay, Nars, Estee Lauder. All that stuff. And I got my makeup palettes that I think I'm going to use. So... I don't know what she wants. It's just a last minute thing. So yeah, and I got these lashes. They're made in gorgeous. These are super cute, y'all. Okay, but yeah, I'm about to shower, eat, and then just get ready for my clients to come. Okay, y'all, so my client has left. I am just now eating today. Y'all, I've been really, really busy. I'm just not eating my leftovers. And I got two cookies. This one is like Toll House, and then the one on the bottom is like Oreo, and they're kind of like stuck together. But I'm about to eat, drink my, uh, this whole thing of water coming to and take my water today because I've been so busy so I haven't done that and then I'm gonna finally go to uh, Target uh, my, I'm gonna insert the pictures of my client of me doing my client's hair um, she came a little later than what she originally said I need to go to Target just for some eye drops but baby I need some eye drops okay but yeah see y'all soon life and it turned me to a beast my brother got life and it turned me to the streets Okay, so I am back home from Target and getting my um, eye drops.
really needed these so bad. Y'all, I really wanted to like start doing some of my cleaning tonight so I won't have to put so much on myself for Sunday because I really need to sweep and mop and all the other stuff. I like to do that at least once weekly, if not twice. Um, and just clean my bathroom up. And baby, I'm so tired. I'm about to put some eye drops in my eyes, probably write a little bit, pray. Uh, I need to take my nails off. I wanna get an overlay tomorrow, y'all. I never got an overlay, so I might do that tomorrow. I don't know, but I'm about to take these nails off. I'm about to relax, unwind, maybe watch a little TV until I go to sleep. I'm super sleepy and I'm like, I've just been doing a lot, but. Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna try using these to take my nails off. Um, some of them are already kind of like lifted. Like this one was like the first one to lift under right here. And so it just came off in a car though. And this one came off like yesterday. And this one is lifting. This one is lifting even more. And then this one's solid. This one's solid. This one's solid. This one kind of lifting. So I feel like some of these I'm gonna have trouble taking off. Oh, this one lifting. I'm gonna have trouble taking off, but some of them are easy. So let's see. The little. Okay, I'm gonna try to get underneath the nail. Oh. Y'all, but I've tried this when my nails weren't lifted. Do not do this while your nails aren't lifted. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt still, but it's easy when your nail is lifting. And y'all, look how long my real nail, I don't know. Look how long my real nail is. So that's why I'm gonna get an overlay because maybe these nails are long. I don't know if y'all can see that. Okay, y'all, I got all my nails off. Y'all, why this one started bleeding? I don't know why. Right here in the middle. And right there, I have no idea why, but yeah, it kind of scared me. But I gotta put these the overlay on these ASAP. Y'all, my nails are so long, especially this one. This one is growing. But I told y'all, my hair is growing, my skin is glowing, my nails is glow growing. Like, okay, y'all. So I filed and buffed my nails. I put some some oil on them on my cuticles and stuff, and here they are, y'all. Uh, I don't know about getting them overlaid because I think I need to give them like some air, some breathing room, a break. And I got them looking health, the little healthy right now, but they are like they need a little break. Good afternoon, y'all. It is Sunday. I got a late start today. Sunday, December 10th. If y'all can see that. Sunday, December 10th. Okay, so I need to go get some kitty litter and some laundry detergent so I can finish washing. I did fold up um, my first load last night and um i have like two more loads that i need to do so i need to get some more laundry detergent i got fabric softener so i'm good on that um i should have got this laundry detergent last night when i went to target but i didn't think about it and i'm glad i didn't because i went on the target app and y'all why they got like a three dollar off coupon and then i have points that are about to expire and that coupon is about to expire so i have to use that like before monday so I'm glad I waited on that and downloaded the app. And so we're gonna see how much that comes out to. But anywho, I need to get some kitty litter, y'all. Pierre has been trying me all day, all day. Like he's been trying it. So right now he's in the bathroom. He's not out freely roaming because he's, he's been a bad kitty, okay? But he's been trying it with me and it's, it's really frustrating. And yeah, but we will get through this. Anywho, uh, I think I want some kava today, so I might get some kava as well. Um, so y'all know when I moved down here, I, we don't have a kava in Louisiana, I don't think. They, the last time I got food from them, it just was a disaster. It was nasty, ew, ew, ew. And y'all, I love kava. The couple times I did try it, it was so good that I kept coming back getting the same thing. So I had to take a little break from them for a while, but I think today might be the day, y'all. 
today might be the day so i'm gonna get some kava uh, i'm gonna go to the store and what else i'm gonna do why finish washing today is just like a regular chill day and then i have to clean up hate it sweep them off the floors and all that but it must be done because we, we enjoy a clean house so now i need to like oil my scalp i'm gonna show you the oil that i'll be using and like it's really itchy right now and i feel like that's my scalp saying these are the places that are dry needs to be oil so just listen to your body you know so let me show you the oil i've been using that's really been growing my hair as well okay so this Ballard Botanicals Rosemary Black Seed Oil, y'all. Hair oil growth stimulator, and it has like peppermint in there. Rose, y'all know rosemary is really good for growth, and I'm almost out, y'all. I'm almost out, and it smells so good. And so, like the back area of my hair, let me show y'all again, cause y'all don't, don't think y'all get it. I don't think y'all get it. I'm almost out of this Ballard Botanicals oil, but that means I've been using, 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 and this has been growing my hair. It's a growth stimulator, and it's also really good for like itchy, itchy scalp, dandruff, and all of that because it has that rosemary and peppermint in there, and black seed oil. Y'all know how good black seed oil is for you, and black seeds in general. So I'm gonna take some and put it in the spot that's really been itchy back here, and I love this little dropper. And I'll just put it down the middle. And I'll put it right in there. And y'all, really a little bit goes a long way. But I can't stress this enough. When you get these protective styles, still oil your scalp and moisturize it because you don't want it to be dry, damaged, and breaking off. And so I just like kind of rub that in, get my scalp a little massage in those itchy areas. And I swear y'all, it just really just stops itching. Y'all, my scalp was itching so bad right here. Like, I want to be a person or like with the comb doing like that. But when I just put this oil in there, it really just soothed it because, like I said, it has that peppermint, black seed, and rosemary. Those are key. And oh my goodness, y'all. Ugh. Feels so much better. <sighs> okay, so. Yeah. And let me just do a look. Let me just do a little something to my edges because I feel like I'm just out here. So. y'all so it literally took me almost 12 minutes to get across this store because they have all the roads blocked off for some little turn i don't know what this is but it's really annoying and i'm just gonna have to walk across the street and go to the store dallas is always doing stuff like this like what is it's crazy but whatever and look at him baby he is tired it is too cold for this you is a black man <laughs> Y'all, we here, and they are so par packed. 
that I had to park over here. Ooh. Okay, y'all. Okay, y'all. So I went by Target, got my detergent, I went by Kava. And now I'm getting a much needed car wash. Y'all look at him back there trying to get the stuff off of my car being towed. <laughs> but yes, I need it so bad. Y'all, y'all just don't understand. I don't think I had a car wash since September. That's crazy. That is so wow. And I really hope this stuff gets that marking off my window from when my car got towed in my own apartment complex at that. Y'all, Pierre's out and he's acting real bad. Real bad. Okay, so got my complimentary pita bread. And it's cold. I need to warm it up. Y'all, this is my bowl. I got the falafel. Uh, I don't really get any meats. I'm gonna eat that chicken, beef, and stuff. Yeah, when I tell you, I must have tear this cover up. Okay, let me see if they're hitting today. Y'all, okay, the falafels look kind of burnt. I got the last four. And I should tell them, baby, no, nah, just give me something else. Or just give me the new ones. But let's see how it tastes. I'm trying to cut it in here. Yeah. I don't get the whole thing. Y'all hear Pierre? Ah, okay, here we go. Y'all. And if you try Kava, get the crazy feta as one of your dip choices. Oh my goodness. Mind you, this is my first time eating all day. So either it's good or I'm just hungry. But with that being said, y'all, I'm about to close out this vlog. Um, see y'all next vloggy vlog. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My heart, my heart, my heart. My heart, my heart, my heart.